Hi, welcome. We've just updated our system. And um, the point of the video now is to make a virtual box. Let's have a look. Super F7. This is my SSD where I keep all the track of all the Arch Linux virtual boxes, the guys with UFI, etc., etc., and the ones with BIOS. So it's all here. Now I have to think what I'll take um, really doesn't matter what I take as long as I take phase three. Now, where am I coming? What is what is this these phases? If you are venturing in installing phase five archway, start here, right? Archway, there are phases. So when you go through the phases, this phase three is exactly where you stop when you have this or that one or that one so it's all phase three I'm just not sure what's the best one but I'm gonna boot that up anyway oops it's on the other screen obviously always is Murphy's law so again all right so we have an uh, installed LightDM, it seems. It's in Xorg, otherwise we wouldn't see anything. And we see this thing, but there is no, nothing behind. So there's no desktop behind, which is actually super. This is what I need. This is phase three. But first, before I clone it, I'm gonna update it. Now, logging in into something that's not there, there is no desktop, there is no Plasma, there's no i3, there's no Mate, there's nothing behind it. Fail to start session, obviously, right? So in VirtualBox, you go with Ctrl F2 to a TTY. On real metal, you press Ctrl Alt F2, F3, F4, F5, right? TTY. This is no problem. This is not graphical. I can get in here. I can do my updates in here. And update not found, of course, it's Arch Linux, Eric. sudo pacman minus S Y Y U. Let's get it in because it's gonna need some updates, some 500 megabytes of it. So before I clone everything, I first update. So I don't have to update again on my other um, image. So that's the first thing. Second thing will probably be visiting the Arch Wiki, right? What packages do I need to install LXQT? So that's next up. Maybe we can combine that with this browser already. So arch wiki lxqt. So we've created a version for it and you start reading and checking what it all means and what it is. Well actually it's just remembering four letters. That's it. How easy can it be? Pseudo Pacman minus S Alex QT done. You gotta love Arch Linux, right? Almost updated. Let's pause here. Okay, update is finished. Now I want to copy paste this. So sudo shutdown now, please. Not waiting for you. Power off the machine. Okay. So we have here an Arch Linux Phase 3 UFI that's up to date. Right mouse click, clone. So we're gonna name it. So we still remember that it's Phase 4. So now you choose your desktop. And it's not clone, it's an LXQT. Next, clone. And we have now a new system, an up to date system. We know what to do sudo pacman minus s lxqt. You can re read uh, on, but we use not sddm but lightdm. That's easy. I mean, it's, it's 14 desktop that always rely on lightdm. No one. Display Manager well, and it's, 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 you're good to go for 14 desktops, All right? Oh, 
All right, the website itself, I visited earlier on this day, made an article, started reading about the about here, for instance. The history is interesting to have a look at, so you know what you're installing, okay? In the meantime, 99% done. Okay, so this is the thing we're working on. This is going to be our LXQT, double clicking it. And then welcome to Grub, all good. Control F, maximizing. That's because we shut it down, right? Remember, doesn't matter. And action. We get our light DM back. But the light DM, of course, has no nothing yet. So we need still to, to do something here. Again, same trick, Control F2, let's take F3 this time. We are on TTY3, login. sudo pacman minus s lxqt, install it. Lots of stuff comes in. Maybe we should take a look at it. Um, LXQT about, obviously, what is what it is. Notification daemon, global keys is for your keyboard shortcuts. Panel is there, policy kit is to, to give a pop-up, root password, power management, uh, the runner is something to find something, session is actually going to, to be the back end of your LXQT system, some themes. The opconf QT is there as well, open box is there. So we are, are actually relying on open box as a backend session that's going to manage our windows and then pc man fm is the file manager and q terminal is something like termites a terminal and screen grab is something to take pictures to grab the screen i skipped a few i know but those are the basics right what, if you, what do you do if you've never seen an application or an, a system like this before? You start reading what is, what, what are the elements, the Lego blocks I get, right? And that's exactly what I just did, I read. What are the applications I get? Of course, there's a lot more to it than just names, files and directories and settings and configurations, but you start there. Now, he has a session, he has a, actually two of them. Since Openbox is installed, it also is going to put an, an, a link or a file in the user share X sessions, which results also in this thing. In Arch Linux, we've got rid of this thing. We just don't want people to go into this environment, which, which really isn't uh, themed at all, of course. The thing is, go into LXQT, that's the, the goal. This is how it looks. So maybe you've seen some videos already about Arch Linux, how that looks. And this is how it looks normally. This is our first impression when you log in to LXQT. So it's an interesting way to start building everything up. Basically, we've, we take an, a big plate for Lego to, to build Legos on, right? A big plate, that's Arch Linux. And we're putting a house on it, that's LXQT. But we forgot the windows, we forgot the curtains, and there are no chairs in there. And now you're gonna put other pieces uh, of the puzzle in your system. So this is building it up. That's my point. So what you get in here, so check out the applications. Those are from LXQT. File manager, which looks like this now. I did not install any icons. Uh, okay, but maybe you saw that on the article here that they suggest you install something, right? Like the breeze icons or the oxygen icon, something. This point in time, there is nothing. So you see nothing. Nor are there icons in front of graphics and accessories, etc. So let's just take a look at all the applications that there are that comes with the package. All kind of settings. This is purely LXQT configuration center. LightM about maybe quick look 14.1. Obviously, Arch Linux is the same. We're all living and working with the packages from Arch Linux. 
And that is it, really. We have here the possibility to do a lot of stuff now. Um, let's do the next video. Let's, let's make this nicer, right? So let's theme it, let's get our blocks in. And we like to call it, let's spice it up. The spices from Arc Linux, let's get them and let's, let's make this nice. But then now we have started with the ISO from archlinux.org and then build it, uh, build everything up piece by piece is good. With scripts is good. Anything is, anything goes really, as long as you, you are able to attain your goal, everything is just fine. All right. So that's for the next video.